Hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing and welcome to my brand new boat, a Telstar 28 Trimaran, and it folds too. Now I'm going to introduce you to this uh, little boat and uh, we're going to start at the front of the boat. And uh, if I turn you guys around, you should be able to see my anchor. It's set, it's about 15 kilograms, big claw. We've got about 10 meters of chain, so five more than America I had. Going back to the road and into this little anchor locker. So I pull that up, you can see in there, big anchor locker. There's a whole nother anchor in there with a, a bit of rusty chain. But you can also see my bowsprit. There's a pulley system that pulls it out. You can see it just there, it goes out about four, four or five feet or something like that. Um, and that allows me to fly an asymmetric spinnaker that we have. We've also got a Furlex 200S furling uh, with a nice big Genoa, it's probably like a 110, 115, something like that. And you can see the furling lines run all the way back. Now if we turn around, we can see we've got a hatch up front. Just below that is the toilet area. Got a nice big window on the front. Over this side you've got one armour, a bit of scaffolding. That's for the mast raising system that this boat has. You can see there and on the other side, uh, you can mount one of the poles that goes up to the mast about there. And there's another pole which replaced those wire stays. And then there's a couple more frames. Um, but that allows you to lower the mast with one rope very easily and quickly. And it places the mast down in the right spot, exactly. Um, also for trailering, because this is the trailer sailor, you can tow this the two outer hulls fold in so there's a couple of control lines but it kind of slides forward and then rotates in and tucked underneath the side of the boat um, nice and easily so it's not too difficult there now if we walk around to the side so we've also got a trampoline here and you can see the inner hull that's where one of the bunks would be and you can kind of see how this slides in underneath that uh, and then you can see the arms and brackets and stuff all holding it together. Nice big pins. I'll show you the bracket on this side. Nice big pin just there. So it's quite a bit of structure. I do need to do a bit of work because you can see this boat is definitely a project boat with uh, got some rusty washers there, a bit of fiberglass repair work there, a bit of gel coat. There's a fair bit of gel coat on this boat than he's doing. You can see where from this where where this is wearing, so that's a problem I want to fix. Um, that front hatch leaks a little bit when it rains, so that's another thing. They're all quite simple jobs, but there's quite a lot of them. Now, walking a bit further forward, you've got the mast. Most of the lines run back to the cockpit, where we've got some uh, jammer things. We've got a nice two inches with a self tailing, which is very nice. Uh, we've got the reef control lines on this side and the topping lift, and we also have on the other side the spinnaker and the and the mainsail halyard as well. And there's also the Genoa halyard up front there, and that doesn't run back to anything. Um, there's also a pulley block which is missing, which is for the mast raising, which I need to find a rope and run that. Um, but we've also got is this spray hood. Seen better days, so that'll be uh, getting replaced. But we also have 100 watt of solar on top of there. That's just enough to keep the batteries and it's not wired in the best. So we're going to have to do a full solar setup and I think the electrics on this boat need completely redoing. Now looking forward, there is a hatch to give access into the armour. There's not much in there. I've just put a couple of flotation devices in there and that's about it for the moment. You've also got the stanchions where you can actually put lifelines through them from the U-bolt and then run them right down to the back of the boat, which would be quite nice. But to actually fold in the, uh, the hulls, you actually need to pull these posts out so you can actually get them in underneath. So I guess that's why they're not fitted for the moment. Now walking around this boat is quite easy. The one place which is tricky is just there on that back edge. It's like a little slope. The amount of times I've stepped on that and almost stacked it down here. Um, I just got to remember to take another step, but there's loads of nice walking. You've got this shortcut route, this board along here, so you can, don't even have to jump down into here to get up to the bow. You just walk along there. Easy to get up to the mast as well. But if we come into the cockpit now, as you can see, pretty nice layout. We've got steps leading out either side. Nice big step for placing food, drinks, phones, all sorts. Nice step there. Um, protected under the canopy. You can also get a bimini frame, which these did come with that you can attach on the back here. We've got a little tender outboard with mounts on the back, which is handy. And then the big outboard at the back. Now that's an interesting system because it's actually electric tilt. So I can press that button, 
up and down and that's me out of board and then I can lower it with the pulley blocks there we've also got the rudder at the back that's also lowered up and down and you can pull that down now in the back here in this locker you've actually got fuel um, it's a wet locker so it's not too bad and yeah you can see the cockpit here controls for the outboard a couple of things that's the fuel that we used to get back here so that wouldn't really need be needed the tiller itself actually tilts right up and the other cool thing is to control the outboard you can insert this pin into the side and it allows you to rotate the outboard as well as the rudder so when you wash the motor around and not move the outboard so much you can actually set that now you've got all of the control lines here going back to winches nice and controlled sheet lines kind of run back and then forward and they're on tracks the main sheet is on a nice big track um, nothing too complicated this boat did have a brand spanking new mask because it got broken in transport at some point still has the original boom nice stack back in decent condition so i'm quite happy with the rig at the minute just got to get the mast raising system sorted but now if we go inside of the boat now you can see in here now if i if i point you in here I can just about stand up, but when I walk forward, I have to duck the head a little bit, but you've got these big hatches there and there, which I can stand up in, and I've also got the hatch here, which is perfect for cooking. Now on this boat, we have a cooker, two hob, and we even have a grill underneath. We've got a fair bit of storage, so cutlery drawer. Now we also have the sliding storage here. They're not the deepest, but they work. A little cupboard underneath the sink which doesn't store too much but back here you've got nice deep storage for stuff shelving very nice and the sink works you just uh, manually pump it you've also got a seawater outlet as well which is really nice the person who uh, originally had this boat added this little add-on i guess he wanted a bit of extra worktop space but it's not the strongest so i might upgrade it or remove it I haven't decided just yet for lighting inside we've got a light there just flick the switch and it turns on and you've got one in the middle over there one in the bathroom and one over here and now this is the nav station so nice folding table here you can lift it up and all of that random assortment of switches which aren't labeled and some don't work some don't do anything um but another shelf around here which is really nice so i'm liking that underneath here is like tools and electrical goodies you've got two batteries in here but that will be replaced with uh, another battery when I redo all the electrics because they're a bit hickledy pickledy. Um, got radio, another one of the sliding storage over here. We've got cleaning stuff in there, so nothing too complex. Oh, gotta shut that up. And then if you look towards the back underneath the uh, cockpit, they've got another berth in here. It's quite a wide one. But it's a little bit like a coffin but your head your head lays here and it's not too bad you've got to remove the step now that steps a waste of space but i think i'm going to put a fridge here and use the fridge as a step to get out make it a bit more efficient uh, because this is my fridge at the minute and uh, it's not the best so we're going to get rid of that and put the one i have on merakite in um, but apart from that that's the area at the back nice open you've also got curtains for the windows which is very nice um, it's perfect for when the morning sun comes out and you still want to sleep now if you look here you've got a berth there and a berth on this side exactly the same but that lower cushion you can remove and put somewhere else and you actually get a, a bit of a wider berth which is nice we've got this folding table here which uh, just pops out across you can lower it and remove it and things which might be handy i'm kind of tempted to do some sort of bigger bed kind of setup with the uh like a lowering table that kind of fits in and stuff but we'll see underneath here we've got the water tank and uh, we lift that up you can see water tank it needs some work it needs cleaning because it's not drinking water it's not safe for that but going forward you can see my nice big chain plates here which bolt down into the mast um, the one on that side dribbles a little bit so we've got to seal that up um, on the roof here we've got that's for the mast light not wired in over here we've got some other mounts for like these are the uh, lines that run everything back to the winch um, so not too sure about this plywood so we're going to redo some of that and we probably will when we need to run wires anyway um, but coming forward we've got a little depth finder box 
to uh, kind of protect it. Um, but underneath there, we have a toilet. It exists, it's in there. Uh, not the best condition. I think it needs the seals doing this stuff, but we might replace it anyway. On both sides, I have these big storage compartments, which is perfect for all the clothes and things like that. And above the head is a very small single berth, which I mostly use for additional storage, like for the spinnaker. Below that is a holding tank too, and then there's a sink off to the side by the head with a little cabinet below that. Now that's it for this short tour of my new to me Telstar 28 called Mingale. There will be a more in-depth tour coming soon and that will go into a lot more detail and delve into all of the issues that I need to fix. But join me in the next episode where I have to get this boat out of the water and onto a trailer so I can get her home and start on all of the projects before next season comes around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.